Dallas Cowboys fans, and then there is one Cowboys fan that blows them all away. His name is Stoney Kirsch, and his support for the hometown team makes him our one to know. On game day, Stoney Kirsch travels in style. We're wired up, fired up, ready to rock. Making the mile and a half journey to AT&T Stadium in his tricked out party bus. On this particular day, he doesn't even have tickets to the game, but he's happy to shuttle fans who do. If they need a ride, I'll just take them down there. And drop them off. Then when it's over, they call me. I run down, pick them up. It's something he does for loved ones and fans alike. Not a chore. His idea of fun. Just because I love the Cowboys, silver and blue, I bleed it. Silver and blue, Cowboys, all the way. His vehicles, all of them, and his property, a shrine to America's team. That's some of Emmett's stuff, you know, like his rookie card and uh, his gloves from when he was at the Cardinals got hit. Every day he wakes up in a fan curated museum with over 100,000 items that he's gathered since age four. Here's the three foot bobbleheads over here. You got Jason and Dez. And he loves sharing it with others, offering free guided tours by appointment only. When they walk in, they think it's just going to be like a room or something. And when they see that it's the whole house, they just can't believe it. Every crevice, shelf, wall filled to the brim with memorabilia, like this signed Dez Bryant jersey he bought for five bucks at a garage sale. Yeah, there's even display cases in the the bathroom. And this is his idea of a golden throne. That's a seat back from <laughs> Texas Stadium. It means Christmas decorations are true blue. It was a Dallas Cowboy Christmas wreath. And so are the presents. Meet Dak. Say hi. A Christmas gift to his wife, his MVP, Diana, who loves the Cowboys as much as her hubby. Her favorite reaction from fans? Wow. <laughs> dropping jaws. I told Stani we need to give out chin straps when they come through. Especially for the last leg of the tour. This is my idea of a Dallas Cowboy city. Kirsch is the proud owner and architect of this model city, complete with a waving old glory. And with the national anthem, what else happens during the national anthem? Every big game, you got to have the flyover, right? <laughs> A little turbulence up there today, but they're in formation. But wait, there's more. You gotta have the lamp fly over. A kid at heart with an obsession as big as the franchise. When you walk up those stadium stairs for the first time at Texas Stadium and you see the field, that's what did it for me mainly. With the Cowboys enjoying a good season, his tours are getting a lot of takers. It's been a long dry spell around here, and, and to see him doing so well with a couple of rookie guys doing playing so well, it's, it's, it's really awesome to see. And you can't blame a diehard fan for getting a little ahead of himself. I don't want to count the eggs before they're hatched, but if we can make it all the way to the Super Bowl with it being in Texas, that's going to be really being awesome, you know. We don't have to drive far. You going to go to Houston? Absolutely. Absolutely. And Stoney has even more reason to celebrate. He won season tickets for next year from a second chance lottery ticket scratch off. He's a lucky guy. We'll be right back.